నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ సో రీసెంట్లీ ఆల్ ఇండియా ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఆయుర్వేద న్యూఢిల్లీ హ్యాస్ రిలీజ్డ్ ది బ్రోషర్ ఫార్ ది పిహెచ్డి అడ్మిషన్స్ బ్యాచ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఆన్వర్డ్స్ సో ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ ద స్కాలర్స్ హు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు జాయిన్ దిస్ కోర్స్ ద పిహెచ్డి విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు కంప్లీట్ దేర్ పిహెచ్డి డిగ్రీ బై ది మంత్ ఆఫ్ ఏప్రిల్ ఆర్ మే ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఐ మీన్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ హ్యావ్ అ లుక్ అట్ ది వేరియస్ రూల్స్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేషన్స్ అండ్ జనరల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ which you should know if you want to get a seat in this or appear for the examination so these are the deadlines the dates you can see the online registration has already started from 20th of march and it will be open up to 20th of april so you have another 25 more days to actually get registered for this then the entrance examinations will be conducted in may that is exactly to be precise on the sunday 4th may first sunday of may 2024 the center will be all india institute new delhi itself so you won't have any online kind of exam it will be offline exam held in the institute of all india is like ayurveda institute of ayurveda and the answer key will be published on the same day the day when you give the exam it will be published so if there is any grievance related to that within the coming 3 days by the 8th of this may you have to submit them and then the results will be announced before on or before 15th of may and ultimately they make the uh, results will be like i uh, will be followed by the interview interview is scheduled on 21st to 22nd that is two days in may and ultimately the phd course work will begin from the 1st of june so it means the 1st of june is your joining date and then the completion will be 31st of may 2027 but this thing uh, the results and interview dates there are there is a lot of gap in that i think this is not justified for the outside candidates who are coming from other than delhi because nai jaipur has this policy of having the interview within 3 days of having the exam and then results and then interview and then results also so those who are coming from far distance will be having benefit if they are taking examination in nai jaipur and if they are getting qualified for the interview but in this case a candidate has to give the exam and then again after a few days he may have to come back if he is eligible for the interview so i think that should be rectified since it is a national level institute and it's a, under du D, delhi university such kind of you can say common sense should be followed so that it will be beneficial for the far candidates so anyway so this is their schedule for this time let us see what happens in the next year so there won't be any change if there is any change they will be notifying in the website in their official website so the admission procedure and everything is exactly like that of the past so there will be application form that is online one then there will be screening test interview result and then admission so online mode only will be accepted for the application there is no offline mode there is a website their uh, own website aiae.gov.in in the notifications you can find the link for the online form so i'll be sharing the link in the description as well so you can directly go there and you can fill the form how to fill the form it is not a uh, difficult task because it is self explanatory the basic information are asked along with the qualifying degree so you we'll have to upload the qualified deg- degree and then pay the fees payment fee uh, fee payment is in collaboration with the spa online link so once the payment is made you will have to update that in the application form as well and then submit so the application form has to be filled the photograph the signature and the degree doc- some of the documents may be scanned and kept prior hand and then when you fill pay the fees and then again fill back the form like the last part and then submit it once submitted your payment will be anyway they'll be checked by the uh, institute or the officials and then you will be given the admit card admit card also will be given through online download mode only so once you have downloaded the uh, form the admit card you will have to appear for the exam on the scheduled date the fee for the same is 3000 for the unreserved obc ews whereas the scst and pwd candidates will have to pay 2500 so this also i think i'm not in favor of so much you can say fees for a national level uh, institute just for the conduction of exam they are charging so much i think they should keep it minimum so this is also one thing which uh, doesn't go okay in the standards of the central government instead of helping the candidates they are actually looting in the name of exam so the seats you can see this is the same as the last year there is no change here each department will have three stipend receipts and one non non stipend receipt so non stipend receipt is for the uh, you can say the faculty of du those who are working in the see the 
tibia college and even the all india institute any faculty is not having the phd they will be under uh, undergoing the non stipendary phd seat so they'll be having part time like job so then other than that there will there are other eligible criteria not only md ms in ayurveda even the other allied branches are also having the opportunity to take phd work so for them also it will be under non stipendary area and even foreign quota those who are appearing from foreign quota they also will be appearing in the non stipendary quota one thing uh, in the past also the I, all india institute is having a bad history of uh, removing seats from one department and putting it in some other department of course everyone is aware of that but i don't know whether this time like uh, what happened last like three stipend receipts are there they are taking only two from one department they are adding it to some other department to make it four so some things have happened in the past let us see what happens this year so this is their brochure so 4 plus 1 3 plus 1 four seats so foreign nationals also have to register through the online portal that has to be remembered foreign nationals also have to register so they have to register in the foreign nationals you can see the link what is there in the website and then this form also has to be filled so they'll have to appear for the interview they won't be having any exam so eligibility criteria as i mentioned md ms in ayurveda these are the people who will be expecting this kind of exam other than that there are allied branches as well i don't think anyone from that branch will appear unless and until he or she is having some you can say uh, relation with the faculty of all india institute so anyway it is for the major ayurveda professionals so entrance test will be having 70 marks so 30 will be the concerned subject if your department if you are in department of you can say swasthavrata will be having 30 swasthavrata questions and 40 questions will be con- common for all the 12 departments that is research methodology statistics and ayush general knowledge so this has to be known so there will be 75 minutes time to answer and minus quarter mark for the wrong answer if there is no answer it is zero so this is in relation to the entrance test interview will carry 30 marks so in that way 70 plus 30 your marks will be total for 100 so the center will be all india institute itself itself the new delhi there won't be any exam for foreign nationals and even for in service quota uh, the candidates but they may have to appear for the interview then duration of the phd is for 3 years and then this is a i think part for which you have come for this video what is the exact stipend in this particular you can say 6 months time of all india institute phd so we'll see the basic stipend is you can see 50315 for the first year phd second and third will have the same 51990 this is called as basic stipend a candidate who is going to carry out phd work in all india institute will get da as well da is nothing but dearness allowance so it is revised every 6 months so right now it is considered as 50% of the total basic so in that way uh, first year phd scholar will have 25157 as the da for every month so in that way every month he'll be getting 75472 by combination of basic and da in the same way second and third year will be having total of 77985 since all india institute is not having proper accommodation facility they have been giving the candidates both pg and phd 9000 per month as a consolidated amount in in place of hra so each candidate will be getting that so in that way a candidate who is going to carry out phd work in all india institute this time this 6 months will be getting a total of this much so by adding that 9000 as a consolidated one it doesn't depend on the batch everybody will get the same so i think until they provide some accommodation they will be providing that once they start providing the accommodation maybe this will be uh, removed so that is the criteria here so it is almost touching 85 in case of first year and almost touching the 87 in the second and third year so this is the total payment what a, a candidate of phd will be getting in all india for this 6 months so in this way i think they were uh, Uh, eager to know certain of these information so maybe you, you, may, you may be helped by watching this if still there is any query or any general information you require which i you think i can provide so definitely you can put it in the comment box i'll try to share the information